Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about my favorite nude lip products. I am the type of girl that typically only wears nude lipsticks. I have kind of evolved my nude lipstick style from really light flesh tones to more brownie, you know, brownie tones, nude browns. So it's definitely evolving. There are a lot of different nudes out there. It's just... It's not just like skin tone black, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna talk to you about all of my favorite products to achieve the nude lip look, however you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about my ultimate favorite. I've showed this so many times and I'm wearing it all the time. It's my YSL Rouge Fill Up in number one. I do believe the color is called Nude Beige or something along those lines. I will list it down here. The only con about this is that the cap is broken. It happened just like, you know, right when I got it. So that's kind of a bummer. And it gets pretty messy. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to clean it up right now. So this is the color. This formula is so like smooth. It's, it has that kind of YSL smell, which reminds me of like fruits, but it's not overpowering. You don't smell it on your lips. You just smell it when you apply it. But the color is kind of a nude with a pink undertone. It's not too nude, but definitely if you're a bit tan, maybe a bit darker than I am right now, it's gonna look pretty nude with a pink undertone to it. And the second lipstick I'm gonna talk about is probably the ultimate nude. It's from MAC, it's called Myth. I used to wear this lipstick all the time when I was around 14 years old, and this is a complete blush tone nude. This is the color of it. I've actually like I applied it the other day or today I don't remember on top of another lipstick so it's actually that color. And as you can see I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I've used it so much. The color is almost like a concealer. Like you would not believe the difference between those two. So it's just it's so flush tone like. Um, it has a bit of a pink undertone when it goes on your lips um, probably just because of the undertone of your lips because it looks kind of peachy, corally on here I feel like but on the lips it's definitely a flesh tone color this is not a good lipstick on its own except, you are, except if you are super fair but I used to always wear it with the Dazzle Glass from MAC and Smile on top and that looked really nice. It's like a peachy shimmery lip gloss and I still use it to this day just to kind of lighten up other shades and to highlight the inner parts of your lips. If you want just a little bit of oomph, this is the perfect color to have and mix with other things. But as you can see, it's not good on its own, I think. But I have another similar item. It's kind of a dupe, it's not like an exact dupe, but for me it's, I use it for similar things, you know what I mean? And that is a much more affordable lipstick. It's from Gosh and it's called Darling. This is the packaging. This you can buy at the drugstore. I don't know if it's available like worldwide everywhere, but that color is so light. As you can see, I'm always running out. I guess I should go and buy another one of these at least because I do actually use this a lot. This one is a bit more sheer. It's a bit more pink, but it's a beautiful color. Like, it's so nice. You can wear this on its own if you have a similar skin tone as me or a bit lighter. Because it is sheer, it's buildable. So if you just pack on a little bit, it will look nice. Then I have a lipstick that is much more brown toned. This one is limited edition, but I'm going to show you an exact dupe that is permanent. This is called Brave New Bronze, and it's from MAC's um, Style Warrior collection years back. This is probably way too old to be using, but um, I have only just a tile left, and I just want to finish it. Love the packaging, by the way. The leopard print on here is gorgeous. This is the perfect nude for medium to semi-dark skin tones or maybe dark i don't know i picked this up because i had seen a lot of girls with um darker skin tones than me talk about it when it came out and it looks so nice that i thought it would look the exact same on me but of course 
because I am fair skinned, this didn't look like this didn't look nude like I wanted it to be years back. Now I really appreciate it because I like the brownie tones of it. This is a satin formula, so it's really, really opaque, but I like the formula of it. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the past two that I showed you. It's really creamy, but it's still kind of a thick formula, so if you're not into that, like, the feel that you can actually feel the lipstick on your lips, and um, this formula is not for you. But I love this. It's so beautiful, and you can layer it, you can, you know, just have that kind of new look, but still don't look washed out or like a corpse or anything. <laughs> the closest dupe, I think, is Cherish from MAC, which is also a scent formula. And that looks like that. I've also finished quite a lot of it. I'm gonna swatch it next to it. It's a bit lighter and not as opaque, but still, like, it's almost dead on on your lips. The Brave New Bronze is a bit darker, a bit more pink. This is a bit more brown, I feel like. A bit more um, terracotta color of a terracotta shade, but they look extremely similar on the lips. They have the same satin formula, so they go on just the same. And if you're into the brown nudes, definitely check out Cherish because it's a really good lipstick and I've never, I never hear anyone talk about it. So as you can see, we have a whole color variety here. It's so crazy how nudes can vary in colors. Next, I'm gonna go into lip glosses. My ultimate favorite nude lip gloss is from NYX. It's in the color Tiramisu, and it definitely has a mauve pink undertone to it, but it looks great layered over any of these nude lipsticks or just on its own because they are pretty opaque. I'm gonna swatch it for you on my hand. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. My hand is so dry that this is not gonna look that good. But this is the color. Similar to the YSL Rouge Philippe number no. 1 and kind of similar to the MAC ones that I just talked about. Gorgeous formula. I love the butter glosses. They're so smooth, pretty thick and sticky, but I like that. It's just like, mmm, it stays on your lips. The smell is amazing. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like a fake you know, vanilla-y, cupcake-y, but it's still good. Like, I I think those smells are quite often sickening and I don't like them at all, but this one I actually like. So, you know, big thumbs up for NYX on their butter glasses. I also have a shade called Creme Brulee for the lighter nude lovers. This also definitely has a pink undertone to it. It's pretty much just a light pink. But if you layer it with new lipsticks, it's pretty new. Like, it's not, you know, it's not gonna scream out pink. I'm actually almost done with this, but you can see the difference here. Creme Brulee is on the bottom and Tiramisu on the top. So on to my last favorite nude lip product. is It's also a gloss. I'm not featuring any lip liners in this because I don't have any, like, must-have nude lip liners. I'm definitely ne gonna need to build a night collection. But my next favorite lip gloss is almost like a liquid lipstick. It's that opaque. It's the Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Lacquer in the color 720 Nude Illusion. This is what it looks like, and it's way different. Like, the tones of it are way different than any of those that I showed you. I feel like it gravitates a lot more towards the orange, like, caramelly side of colors, not mauve, not pink. So this is what it looks like. It has a doe foot applicator, which is pretty nice, and it's like a fluffy, like, almost hairy wand. I don't know how to really describe that without sounding disgusting. This is it on the hand. As you can see, it's just a lot more orange. It's it's so weird. I don't normally I wouldn't think that I would like this color, but it looks absolutely gorgeous on. As you can see, it's a pretty dark orangey nude color. And that wraps up all my favorite nude lip products. I really hope this video helped you if you that you enjoyed it and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any further questions, please comment them down below and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.